Hi everybody and welcome to a new weekly vlog. It literally kicks off from where we, where we last were. Um, thank you for everyone who attended the last premiere. We had 230 at the premiere, so that was amazing, thank you. But we have been cooking our evening meal, so I shall show you what we're having. So it's that time in the year when we've had the nice weather and we have a lot of pasta salads. So what we do is tuna pasta salad. So we've got two tins of tuna chunks, mixed with some mayonnaise. I've prepared a salad, which is all lovely. And we're, Matt's doing the pasta over here. And we shall, when it's all done, probably melt a little bit of cheese into it. And then in a big pan, we'll, we'll add in the tuna and then we'll add the salad and then we'll serve it in these two bowls here. So that will be our evening meal tonight. And there we have our cheesy chew tuna <laughs> pasta salad. Yum, yum, yum. Hi all, it's been a few days since I last did some vlogging and I've been doing lots of work in the garden. So I'll show you what I've done in the rear garden, but in the front, there's been a bit of a change with the borders. So I've done some digging and I've taken some things out. I did actually lose one of the roses. I lost one, it's one, a David Austin one called Queen Mother. It's the same as that one, and it's the same as that one. It's, um, if you remember, I had three of them in a pot at the old house. So I need to get another Queen Mother to put there. And then I need to go back to King's Nurseries uh, to buy some plants to go in between, some complementary plants. But just look at the fantastic rose we've got going on over here. Isn't this absolutely amazing? And I do believe this is Princess Anne, the hardest working rose and one of the hardest working royals. Just look at this lovely bloom, isn't it gorgeous? So I've gone and dug up and rotivated the soil, turned it over all the way down. Now, this sort of meadow grass, I finally got it fixed. I've got somebody coming. This guy does the, does one of the neighbor's gardens. He's got all the right equipment, big power tools. He'll just chop through this and return it back to normal. And then I can do some patching up. For example, this area over here is where all the bluebells were and it's caused a right mess. So I'm expecting more of this on the lawn. Ugh, never mind, I know how to fix it, so all's good. Uh, I am being good. You I am are. joining Matt at the gym Yay. today. It's leg day for me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I have literally no clue. Um, anyway, I've flicked my hair back. I've not had a shower yet, obviously. We'll have one when we get back. Uh, what will I do? And we are back from the gym. Oh, that was a shock to the system, wasn't it? <laughs> My loves of not been in ages. Well. well, I had a free session because, you know, to sort of get you used to the gym. So am I going to join? Am I not going to join? What do you think I should do? Join. I don't know. But I did, I did chest, I did, I did biceps, I did all sorts of things. Mm. I'm not just a pretty face, you know, my loves. <laughs> Yes, so what will I do? I have no idea, but I am absolutely exhausted. I was sweating, I was overheating. It's not sweat, it's glow. <sighs> right, I'm all showered <laughs> and cooled off. The cats are outside. Molly and Bo have been a little bit angsty. Now, I can't remember if I showed you what I did to the borders. But anyway, I've dug over them and everything's growing. We now have some poppies. This nice kind of orangey red and yellow uh, these are growing back these are the ones that were eaten a little bit by slugs but they are growing back um so yeah everything's looking really good these lupins are absolutely fantastic so if nothing else grows i know that the soil really is suitable for lupins so just look at these aren't they fantastic and we have some rose buds over here as well these are the ones from the old garden so they are coming back very slowly I think I may have lost this poor magnolia. I don't know what's happened. I'm gonna leave it in and see what see what happens to it. Um, maybe it just doesn't like the spot, I don't know. Um, but anyway, you do find that some things just don't take in a garden. Anyway, it's all looking rather good. Now, when this patio was put in, initially it was a bit, it wasn't quite straight. So we had it re-straightened. 
um, which was fine, but there was a bit of concrete left where it shouldn't be. So I've been and dug all the way along or here and got it out apart from this section here. So I think it even is drilling or lump hammering or something to get that out. Otherwise I can't plant on that bit, but I did manage to do it all the way along there. So this border will get some new plants. Of course, the daffodils are still dying back. This is what it needs to look like. Uh, before you can cut them off so all sort of brown and crispy so we're not quite there yet with the brown and crispiness are you being a good boy hmm. <laughs> and tomorrow i actually get some glass in the greenhouse oh i've been waiting all week for this so today my job in the garden is just to clean out all of this debris that has obviously blown off the big massive trees up here i think that is a rather large oak tree, around about 20 years old. So all the little bits and pieces have blown off and gone into the greenhouse, so that won't do. So I need to clean that and also need to go into these little gutters and clean out that as well. So that when the glass is put in, it's not gonna be messy because I don't want to be sweeping and having brooms in there uh, when the glass is in. I mean, obviously I will do to, to keep it clean, but to get rid of all of this, I think I need to do it um, as it is with, with no glass but it really is nice to I just keep standing in here and the cats come in even though it's got no got no glass the cats really like to just kind of come and almost use it like a room because it is kind of um, covered a little bit right do we need to do a little cat rescue over here does Molly need rescuing I don't know <laughs> be a good boy I think he just wants to sniff well, I knew somebody would be interested in Daddy's tomatoes. <laughs> so I have used this mini greenhouse. It has actually been really good. I've weighed it down with bricks because of the wind. We've had no issues. So I did show you these. These are the tumbling toms. They smell, when I opened this up, the smell of tomatoes was just absolutely incredible. I love those. Uh, also, see, they are, they are actually growing. Uh, the heat from this is actually really good. So I'm gonna give them a water. I use my little houseplant watering can to do this. Bo's very interested. I think it just wants to get in there. <laughs> and I also have a hanging basket ready as well to go in the greenhouse. So this is what the tumbling tom will go in. It's from the old greenhouse. Still got to put away the old cat litter tray. That will go in the loft, I think. But I've been waiting for it to just dry out. It, it has been dry and then it's got wet again. Anyway, uh, so that's... Um, where the tumbling tom are going to go. The begonias are coming on quite nicely before I plant them, and the nemesias are ready to plant. I just need some compost. Hello, what are you doing? Always nosy, always interested. Uh-oh, did it wobble? Did it wobble? Yeah, and even Molly is outside today, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, she likes a little sunbeam, but bo has been playing her up a little bit today. So she's come here on the bench to sort of get away from all the boys. She says, no boys today, I just want to be on my own. Uh, Rory is on the bench over there, and Bo's on the little slab over there. So all the felines are out today. Just look at that, aren't you sweet? Aren't you gorgeous? Yes, you are, you're so beautiful. Okay, it lo looks like I'm sort of dressed for two different seasons today. We've got a long sleeve top on because when the sun's not out, it is a little bit nippy. But I've also got shorts on because it's kind of too hot if I don't. Anyway, anywho, <laughs> uh, yesterday was a really good day because we finally got a holiday booked. Yes, I, I cannot wait. I am so excited. We do have another cruise booked. It is another Virgin Voyages and it is another back to back. This time it's actually a two week cruise in total. Where there's two seven day cruises, um, and but it won't be for a little while. It'll be very, very early in the new year. So 2024, very, very early in the new year, we will be traveling. We will be going on a back-to-back -back Virgin Cruise and I am so excited, I really am. I cannot tell you how much I am looking forward to this cruise. So closer to the time, we'll give you more details, um, but I am just so excited to finally have something booked. And we are back from Morrison's. I told everyone about the holiday. Oh, did you? Well, I didn't say where we're going, I just said we're going 
at the beginning of the new year. Yeah. Wow. We, and that we're booked. And that, I said it's a cruise. And I said it's a Virgin Voyages. Right, we bought some bleach because two for one pound, that's why. <laughs> and we need it. Um, we've also bought things we don't normally buy no. because... It's my dad's 70th birthday party on Saturday, and we need to take some drinks. So, so let's keep the suspense, we'll go for the normal things. Okay, normal for things. For my <laughs> chocolate mousse is for my pudding. They are because they didn't have your mousse, did no. they? How naughty of them. But I like the pudding. You do. And they're only 150 calories per whole pot. Yeah, believe it or not. That's yeah. quite. Good. And then yours is... Oh, yeah, that's Maureen's. Maureen's is 630 calories. Well, pot. that is diet food, don't you think? Isn't that gorgeous, beautiful diet food? Oh, yes, now these, I saw these, and they weren't too bad price. Cat grass. I'm going to grow this to stop them from munching the other stuff that they shouldn't. Also, I'm going to grow some catnip. Wouldn't that be amazing? And we've also got some seeds. Yes. Uh, now, I am a little bit late in planting these from seeds. I can't find them in the pots, in the greenhouse, in the garden centres. So you can plant them out as late as May. So I will sow directly into soil. And then we'll see what happens with those. But they are supposed to be highly scented ones. Pims. Okay, so Pims. I do like a Pims. And this bottle is the Coronation Edition of Pims. <laughs> Got me a glass of rose yeah, Matt likes the barefoot pink rose there. Yeah, and then I also got this Bachman's jeans. Yeah, you said you've had that before. Mm, I had it once when I went to see Tricks and Metal in Cardiff years ago. Mm. And it was really nice. And it was on it was on offer as yeah, well. It was on offer as well. The Pims was on offer as well. Mm. So get yourself down Morrison's. Uh, and that's it that for our it. haul, isn't it? I do believe. Right, so I've moved one of the obelisks over here, and I think this will be a good place for it to go for this year. Uh, like I say, I'm not sure that this magnolia is going to live, so I've just kind of put it there. Um, I will plant them directly into the soil, and then hopefully they'll grow up, and this is where they'll be happy. And we might get some flowers this year. And this is what the seeds look like in your hand. There's quite a few, so I should just dot them all the way around the outside, or rather the inside of, of like this um, obelisk circle. And then, like I say, keep them watered and hope for the best. Right, so that is all in and watered. Now it's got to <laughs> literally fingers crossed and pray for the best. Um, right, the next, the cat grass and the catnip. What I'm going to do is fill these pots that I've kept. Uh, recycling is really good when it comes to plastic pots because they are not actually recyclable, most of these plastic pots. So reusing them is the best form of recycling. So what I'm going to do is put some of the compost that I've bought today in these, um, sow them, possibly start them off in my little greenhouse and then transfer into the big greenhouse tomorrow when we've got the glass on. And then I shall sink these into the ground so that I can easily take them up and replace them and they won't spread too much either. For potting, I will be using this miracle Grow all-purpose premium compost for all, pl uh, for all plants. It's about $5.99 a bag. Uh, and I've also bought three grow bags as well for the greenhouse to put all the tomatoes in. This is a grow bag and they are very, very, very popular in the UK. It's just a plastic bag filled with compost and you cut a hole, put your plants in, and then you don't actually need any, any soil or compost in your greenhouse, just these bags that you can then empty out at the end of the season and you can recycle these bags. Okay, so that's basically all the compost you need. And then once you've sprinkled the seeds on the top, just put a, a couple of handfuls of this back on the top. So that's just what you do. Right, so they are all um, another layer of soil put on the top and I've just watered them. So let's just remove the rubbish for a moment. This is the hanging basket that I had from my old house and a liner that I've used before. So you don't always need to buy a new one every single time. It is a coconut kind of... Um, liner and there's still a little bit of life left in it. I'm going to put some compost in it ready to, in fact, I may even actually put the tumbling toms in there um, today and just get them planted up and then pop this under the um, canvas if you like of the small greenhouse but I always do a little trick first. I always line it with a circle of plastic basically, any sort of plastic bag or any, any sort of this kind of plastic, just put cut a circle and it just keeps the moisture in because it stops it all from all the water when you water it from dripping straight through. So that's a tip that I learned and I've done that for years and years and years and it really does help. 
So here are the liners that I've just cut. You only need one, but obviously because I've used a carrier bag, a Morrison's bag, I've actually got two of them. So I might put two in. Now you can be more precise. I've just roughly cut it. You can be more precise. You can use a dinner plate to, you know, draw around or cut around. But I've just done this. And if you look, it sort of fits really perfectly and then just stops any moisture from dripping out. So once you've put it in, it ends up with something like this. Make sure you push the compost to the side so that the bag doesn't get kind of squished in the middle. Um, now, of course, you can use moss. You can buy bags of moss and it looks really, really nice with moss. In fact, some people use a liner like this, a, a much thinner one, and then put some moss on the outside to make it look nice. Either or works perfectly fine, either this coconut matting or moss, but moss really does have a nice look. And I may try and do a moss one next year. There we go. Now, of course, tumbling tom by nature, tumble, <laughs> they are trailing. But what I like to do is plant them at a slight angle so that they are angling more towards the, the outer rim of the basket or container. Of course, you can grow these in tall containers as well. Um, it just encourages them to go in the right direction. Um, and I think every little bit that you can help along the way really goes that extra mile. So I just topped up with a little bit of soil. Of course, when I give it its water, that will help sort of compress everything. And then overnight until I get the glass in the greenhouse, I'm gonna just pop it back in there, just for safety, um, in case there is a little bit of cold overnight. There we go, so everything's watered. These um, three different varieties, Gardener's Delight, Alicia Craig, uh, Alyssa Craig rather, and Beefsteak, have actually grown a lot since, <laughs> since I had them here. So they're doing well in here. Uh, I've put the hanging basket on this shelf towards the bottom and I've put all the cat things on the bottom as well. So fingers crossed, let's pray. And it's done. The fitters have just left. And wow, just look at this. Isn't it amazing? It looks so much different with the glass and already I've been in there and it's, it's hot already. Um, so isn't that magnificent? I really do love it. Wow, I'm so excited. I finally get to have a greenhouse. So, um, this drain pipe sort of runs off down there. You can have another water butt, which I might get for that side. So here's the water butt from this side. So I can uh, use some nice, I can collect some rainwater and use that on the tomatoes because they really do like it and prefer it. We have a louver vent which is here, which I can open from the inside. Wow, look at all this. Isn't that fantastic? I'm going in. So the staging is movable in this um, simplicity classic greenhouse. Um, so I can move them around and I've chosen to have them on this side because this is the side that does get some shade from the fence only at certain times of the year, but so I thought it's better to have the growing side as this side over here, because it gets the sun pretty much all day. Um, this bit of staging here, I think I actually want to have it over here once I've given it a sweep inside, because when the glass was off, we had lots of debris from the trees falling in. I did sweep it yesterday, um, but more came overnight. So I need to give it a sweep before I put these in their final positions. And I may actually get some black plastic trays to go over the top of them to make like a like a water reservoir when i'm uh when i've got plants that i want to keep watered so that's for that um i have some hooks here they put some hooks on for me so that when i've got the grow bags below i can put strings in uh to go down so that the tomatoes can grow up as i normally use canes but i can also secure the canes in place with string you see so that's really good. The louver vent works by just sort of pop it open like that and it lets some air in. In fact, I think I will leave it open because it is quite a hot sunny day today. So we'll leave that open. The vents, as I said, open completely automatically. So I haven't got to adjust or fiddle with those. Um, and there's plenty of space. By the time I've got the grow bags in, in fact, I'll go and put those in position now so I can roughly see how much space I've got. Um, it's actually not bad. So I'm really, really happy and pleased. There we go, it's a few hours later. I've just had a shower and we've cleaned the house because um, Matt's parents are staying over as well. Um, there we go, I think I've got a few more days left on the cat litter trays, so we'll leave those. But anyway, I've put the grow bags in. So this is how I've decided to set it up, kind of. So this is the hanging basket that I did the other day. I've now moved it into here. I need to get a hook 
Obviously it's got the strap, but I need a hook so I can hang it up over there. I've decided to remove one of the stagings. I don't need five. Um, so I can have this space for something extra. In fact, I could get, in, in fact, another two grow bags, I think, or at least one, one grow bag maybe, going across there. Um, so I think I will get one extra grow bag and have it going across there, which means I can just grow some more things. So that's how they kind of set out. To be honest, it's the perfect size. It really is. I don't need any more than this. And like I say, I will get some trays to go across the top or I could even get a piece of um, wood cut or a piece of work top and just have it going across the top. I don't really like the kind of recesses, the individual recesses, uh, and there wasn't choice to upgrade when it came to that. So uh, I'm kind of stuck with what I've got, but I do like the fact that they are movable, that you can move them around. So with the spare one, which is over here, I think what I might do is just put it in the shed and use it as shelving in the shed. So now I can stack things a little bit higher and keep things ni nice and neat. I can have things that go underneath, things that go in the middle, things that go on the top. So that'll be quite perfect. Uh, but there we have it. I think it's looking really, really, really good. The one thing that I do think I'd like to change, it didn't come with a kit that had the uh, downpipe going all the way down. So I think I'm going to have to go to B&Q, just find another piece of drain pipe like this and then just cut it so it goes all the way down. And I think I can do that myself. But for now, just so it looks right, I'll sort of turn it a bit like that um, so that it's it just looks a little bit neater. But anyway, it looks really, really good. Apart from that little bit there, I am really, really happy with it. And I can't wait to get it all looking really green and growing things in it properly. Oh, Rory, it's the first time Rory's going in the greenhouse properly. Come see? Shall we go have a look together? Come on then, let's go and have a look. Come on in then. Come on, sweetie. Come on then. You remember what a greenhouse is, surely. You're gonna have a look around the outside first, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have a, one, a wander around first. Come on. Rory. Oh no, we're going to scratch our claws on the grass. And we're going to feign ignorance until, oh, and we're going to have a big flop. Oh, look at that tummy. He likes the grass. So we've got our first explorer, Dora the Explorer, haven't we? So Molly's, Molly is clever. So she knows to come and have a look properly. I'm not quite sure Rory knows what it is. And she's a good girl because she's found the shady bit because it is very hot in there at the moment. Oh, I need to get a thermometer for in here. We had one in the old greenhouse, I've just remembered. And Bo is obviously looking at Molly through the glass. <laughs> wow. Ooh, what do you think? I love it. It looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Very happy. And Bo's gone in there as well. I'm looking from the outside. <laughs> so I think it's a hit with these two. I think Rory still needs to learn what it is. There we go. But Bo and Molly are very happy in here. Right, we need an intervention. <laughs> no, he was sat outside of it and yeah, he doesn't really know. So let's pop him in and see what happens. There we go. No, oh, and Bo is of course been exploring everything. Hello, I can see you under there. You're having a good snuffle. Mm -hmm. Really good snuff snuff. No, oh, there we go. It is hot in there, isn't it, Mom? Yeah. Was trying to show him how to get out? Well, maybe. <laughs> well, there we go. We found a little spot. I might, I might put some cardboard there and they, they can sit on some cardboard because they quite like cardboard. We've got an old cat bed somewhere. We do. <laughs> oh yes, you can walk all the way across. Oh look, there's one for, uh, for cats, so that means we, there's space for another cat. Oh, is there? There is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Yay, lots to, there you go. The world is right now that Rory's got his greenhouse back. Right, I've just moved some more things in. I've put my nemesias, these will be planted in some containers very, very shortly. It's just, I'm really busy today. We're going to go see the little mermaid. I'm so excited. Uh, I've put my 
begonias here, and of course the tomatoes I've just put there. They are really ready to plant now, so I'm glad. I've also moved in the cat grass and the catnip as well, so they're in here. So everything's in that I've got. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just need to really get get them all in. And we are in Nando's before the Little Mermaid film, and we've both gone for a Fino Pitta. They've gone up in price, 14 25 now. Anyway, you get two sides. So we've had some coleslaw and some uh, peri-salted fries, and we've also gone for a bottomless drink because it works out, you get more, and I can also have swap to water if I want to after it anyway. So that kind of works out. Matt's just ordering it on the app, and then it will come. These are the sauces we've gone for, lemon and herb, peri with garlic and peri-peri with wild herb. I think that one's quite spicy, I think, the wild herb. And there's the Nando's, I almost forgot to vlog it, but it does look really, really yummy. Hi everybody, we are back from having Nando's, you saw yeah. us having that, and then we went to see The Little Mermaid, the remake, and it was really, really good. It was good. We both really enjoyed it, so I recommend, highly recommend, there was a few changes from the original. Um, yeah, what was the biggest change? The biggest change, uh, there was no wedding ship uh, at the end. If you're familiar with the story, um, it's Ariel and Van um, Eric and Vanessa's wedding. Spoilers. Oh, I suppose. Well, it's a change. It's not exactly the same as the original. So, <laughs> but go and see it because it's really good. It is good. I enjoyed and, it. And Halle Bailey's voice is incredible. Yeah, Melissa amazing. amazing. Oh, right? yeah, the Ursula is fantastic. We love it. There we go, just had a professional in <laughs> to mow the front lawn and just look at what a good job it is. It's, it's not in as bad a condition as what I thought. It's not as brown. And I asked him what to put on it to bring it up back to green. And he actually recommended something called Aftercut. So I am going to order it off Amazon. And if I can find it on Amazon, I will leave it linked. So do check the link. Uh, but apparently I've got to leave it three days to dry out, put some, some of this Aftercut on, and then I can mow it back down again, once it's dry again. So then my mower should be able to cope with that. But just look, isn't that amazing? So much better. Matt is hosing down the window <laughs> because when we had the grass cut, when it was being strimmed, it splashed all bits up. So we're just hosing it down to see, <laughs> to see if we can spill it off. Uh, but it might need a bit of a scrub, I think. But because we're going out, I think it's better to um, just hose it down and then we'll give it a proper clean tomorrow. Yeah, we're at my mum and dad's for a barbecue and I think we're going to chill some... No, it's full. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's kind of full. because yeah, we're not I'm... chilling anything. No, I don't think we can really squeeze anything in. There's lots of beers and all sorts of things in there. Um, we're going to have to just leave them out. Although there is my mum's big fridge. We can... I don't know how much is in there. We've got... There'll be ice cubes anyway. So this is our old kitchen, and we've got all glasses well, laid out. Well, it's old kitchen, it's the old utility. It is the old utility. Um, yeah. So anyway, here is the, the party layout. We've got a bit going on there. And there's going to be three barbecues on the go. Uh, and there's tea and coffee making facilities over here. So it's all on the go. Anyway, look at all these all cakes, this. there's yeah, a cheese no. board, there's <laughs> a Victoria sponge, <laughs> we've got <laughs> a cake, got some meringue, oh, whatever okay. that is. Yeah, wow, yeah, cool. mm, looks amazing. Yeah. So, where's the pen, where's the pen, as if we're doing something. Oh, no. It doesn't matter, just... Okay. Ready? Yeah. Have you got us? Yeah. Go on, sign across the the Oh, <laughs> 
going to do something that I've been waiting to do for a long time. I'm finally going to plant the tomatoes in the grow bags. So I think you may have seen these from my previous tomato planting videos and I brought them over from the old house. These are what I use to plant in the grow bags. So if you didn't know, a grow bag is just a plastic bag full of compost. You put the tomato in the middle and the feeding roots go into here. Uh, you can also water from the top, but when you're feeding, you feed from the top uh, with liquid feed. And then you can fill the, the reservoir with water and it will slowly go down into the roots that have gone into the grow bag, which are more of the, um, I suppose, watering roots. So what I do is I, with a Sharpie pen, I just draw around a circle, cut it out, and then push them in. Now you can actually get three of these uh, feeding, watering and feeding stations into a grow bag. But I quite like to do two, just so the tomatoes in particular have got a bit more space between them. Uh, and it also helps with ripening the fruits. So let's get these in. Right, so there is one hole cut. And I forgot to say, uh, loosen up the soil as well so it's not all compacted. In fact, what you can do before you cut the hole, I did actually forget, is you can just sort of break up the soil whilst, whilst it's in the bag before you've even cut. So I will do that for the other ones. Uh, but if you, if you forget like me, just get a trowel or a fork and lightly sort of titivate a little bit. Um, and then it's just really, really simple. This just pushes in and you just press down, which I'll do off camera when I've got both hands. And then I can start planting up. And there we have one in. So you just put a few scoopfuls of the compost, make a little bit of a well, drop this in, and then you get a few more scoops until it's about that kind of full. And then obviously you can put your little um, reminder of what your tomato is, although it should be very, very apparent. That one, of course, is beefsteak and then you repeat for all the other ones. Okay, and there they are all in. So all I've got to do now is just tidy up and sweep, get all the little bits up, all the mess I've made when it's fallen off the, off the trowel when I've been putting the extra compost in, but there they are all in. So I will give them a good water. It's important to water every single day, sometimes, well, twice really. And morning and night is best. Don't get the water on the leaves because it will make them all shrink up and shrivel and won't be very good. Uh, so I will now get these watered and tidy up. Matt has cooked a roast dinner for Sunday. all of us, a Sunday dinner. <laughs> Against all odds. <laughs> wow, it does look very nice and there's even cauliflower cheese. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's the evening and Rory is now in his little manger. I brought the manger back from the old house and he is in it. Just look at this. Oh, aren't you so sweet? He remembers just what it is, don't you? Yeah. And Bo's just been in here too. Bo has been sat on the grow bag. Um, and the tomatoes are looking quite good, even though, even though they've only been in for a few hours. Um, they're looking promising to me. Hello, Bo. Hey. Woo. There we go. Where are you off to? Sweet pea. And of course, the hanging basket as well is doing well. Hi everybody, we're trying to get a new cat food on Bo. It's these pudding pots. Oh yes, they are seriously good treats pudding pots. Mm. It looks like a little mousse, I don't know. Anyway, we do we have to put it in a little bowl, don't we? Yeah. By the way, the others will get one. It's just that Bo is the first to investigate everything that we bring into the house. And you can't eat that, sweetie. Come here. Oh look, it is like a little, like a little pipette. You could put it on a plate. Now, what do you think of that? What flavour is it? It's a uh, salmon with prawn, prawn and, and tuna. tuna. Oh, we are happy. There we go. Do you know what to do with that one? Is that nice? Well, it, it looks like it, doesn't it? It's a pudding pot. Yeah. Pudding. We'll see how that one goes. Yes, yeah, that's a hit. We also bought Dreamies to refill our little tub because we, we couldn't find a mega tub so we found them on offer with three of them that we think is going to sort of make up there we go have We've you been distracted by dreamies they try with a duck oh yeah there's ducks as well i'm sure we put a duck one by his by his pate yeah. and then he can he can eat it again come on you there we go and then you'll and then you'll eat your pate won't you there we go right do you want by the way we do clean the worktops <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesday morning. We have Bo who's out, we have Molly who's out 
And we have Rory in the greenhouse. He's in his little manger bed. Um, so this is going to be the final day of this vlog that you're watching now because I need to finish it and I need to get this edited so that you can watch it. Oh, look at this. Look at that. He is the picture of relaxation. He really is. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a little greenhouse check. So the tomatoes in the basket are doing well. In fact, I did see some. Yes, I saw a little flower coming. So that means we're going to have tomatoes. <laughs> we're definitely going to have them. Uh, I still need to get these in the pots. Uh, I think I've worked out where I'm going to put them. These were a little bit too small, but I think they're roughly okay now to put in. The weather today is a little bit overcast, but that might be good because I've been waiting for a slightly cooler day to mow the lawn. Um, and I have ordered some aftercut lawn care for the front lawn because it is looking a little bit brown after the um, long grass debacle. So I will be, will be doing lots of lawn maintenance on the front. Uh, but the tomatoes that I planted in the grow bags are doing well. I still need to find some cucumbers and other things to go in those. Now, update. So I don't like the staging quite like this because obviously these are supposed to be where you can put your plants, but they stain. It's, it's all wipeable. I can wipe all this up. Um, but I managed to get a tray, this sort of black tray here, from the old greenhouse because there's a few there. The plan was to put this on top of here so that I can water and it won't make a mess. Problem is, because it's like this, it, it's not even. But I think I figured out a way to fix it. So I will clean this, make that all nice and clean. And then I think these can just be flipped over. So I need to unscrew these little screws, um, nuts, bolts, whatever they are. I, I, I will look in my toolbox. I might be well equipped, who knows? I'll undo this, just this top shelf, and then I think you can just turn it over so that it's flat because the underside of it is completely flat. So if I do that for two of them, it'll make more like a worktop and then the tray will go on. So that is the plan for that. Um, but I need, I need to have some patience to do that and I'm, I'm not being patient at the moment. So that'll have to wait. Uh, I did put in some more plants that a friend gave. So I've got three here. Don't ask me what they are. Um, I've put them there so that we can find out what they are and then we can potentially move them next year. Um, but no, the garden is looking really, really good. So I'm very pleased with it. The lupins are doing so well. Oh, and the rose walk. We have some, mind the wind, hoping you can't hear the wind, but we have some roses. And actually this is tottering by gently and we actually have one out. I am so happy. So the roses are doing really well. Uh, sweet peas still haven't come through yet, but that's to be expected. But just look at these lupins. They are absolutely fantastic. Just look at those. If all else fails, I know that we can grow lupins. I also had a brainwave the other day about what to do with the pergolas. So rather than sort of disturbing the rose walk, in fact, we need another two roses for the rose walk, I actually had a rainwave. So the idea is to still go with the pergola uh, on the bottom patio where the big square is. But instead of bringing it down the rose walk to actually have sort of one side of it coming by the fence almost. So I've got it in my head and I could still grow roses up it. But it would sort of, yeah, almost form like a a slightly higher wall almost down to where the the obelisk is over there that could work and it would mean that i could get it done this year without disturbing anything and it might be better because it might leave things a little bit more open sorry for any wind noise it is a bit breezy so yeah that's my kind of new idea but i'll investigate that um, and get back to you hi everybody hi. it's the end of this week's weekly vlog and we're going for a walk we are <laughs> So, to, to get Matt's steps up. I've been told to up my step count by yeah. my personal trainer. Uh, so, thank you for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So, from us, to you all, and goodbye. Bye.